You know who it is, the whore flick, dig a ditch, super six, big Mitch. And I'm kicking in doors with all three O's. And I'm bringing 28 one-on-ones because we Vegas sons. It's the Meadowlands 530, man. And y'all already know what it is with it, right? Now listen, I would flex on you. Yes, indeed. But I'm cloaked. <clears throat> but y'all know what's up under here. A muscle car. Hubba dub. <laughs> now, welcome to Vegas Chronicles with your mans. Big Mitch, the horror flick from Super 6. And today, <clears throat> we're going to pick up from what we left off last time. Um, I believe I was talking about the uh, most brutal war. Uh, what was the most brutal war in prison? You know, um, <clears throat> and I said the most brutal war that I ever been in in prison was against the Cali boys. And before, when the video cut off last time, I was in the mix of saying, you can ask, you know, anyone, look, <clears throat> what happened was this. After we got, after me and a few more guys got stabbed up, um, they sent most of the Cali boys to uh, Ely. The uh, boy Big Dan, I spoke of him in the last one. The, uh, it started really with him, you know. Um, he was already at Ely, okay, in, in Ely, the California guys got together and formed what was known as Golden Circle. And, you know, they was really anti-Vegas and especially anti-Gerson, you know. But they became strong in Ely, you know. And it was a bunch of Cali boys that basically got kicked off of the yards because of riots with the Vegas, with the Vegas guys. The Vegas guys more than likely got hold time, but they remained on the yards that they were at. Like if they if the ride happened at NNCC, they would have they sent the Cali boys to Ely, but kept the Vegas boys at NNCC just to separate the two. <clears throat> so the Cali boys became strong at Ely, right? So peep this. You know, um, a lot of Vegas cats, you know, was getting it, you know, at NNCC where we were. NNC, NNCC back during this time was the worst yard. Now, a lot of Cali uh, individuals that was coming through there, you know, they was getting wrecked. You know, I'm not going to even lie. You know, I mean, we was, you know, they was, you know, the, the, the fish tank, you know, or what people used to come from other yards, they used to send them to Unit 7. Unit 7 was half the fish tank half, you know, transportation, and then the other half was the workers' unit, the people that worked in PI and all that. <clears throat> but anyway, when people come from the back, we used to be posted up by Unit 4. Unit 4 is over there facing, you know, Unit 7, the infirmary, and Unit 5. And back then, you know, you can walk in between the units. It wasn't fenced up like it is now. So, when the Cali, when, when people come from other yards and they got their tub and they come in, you know, we used to be in groups up over there, posted up, and we used to see cats and be like, hey, where you from? And if they say Cali, we'll be like, hey, check this out. Come here, let, let us holler at you, you know what I'm saying? And we'd be like, we finna take you where, you, where your homeboys at. But in actuality, we finna take you because it was a blind spot over there by Unit 4. Everybody remember the blind spot on the side of Unit 4 where we used to go to fight? We used to take them up over there, and when we get them up over there, we used to do some despicable things to them. So, you know, that's how we used to really, you know, get at the Cali boys, you know, behind, you know, me getting stabbed and a bunch of uh, other other individuals getting stabbed, right? It was on like that. <clears throat> now, it was individuals that came up there, you know, from Cali that got passes too, like Mail Dog. Mail Dog is supposed to be the boy L.A., Fish uh, from 7-6 East Coast, brother, you know, and, and Fish from 7-6 East Coast, you know, we know him, you know, from messing with Boonch, Puncho, you know, they they was partners and, you know, he always showed love to the, you know, to the Gershon, you know, so, you know, we we we, 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 we respected uh, Fish, you know what I'm saying, so when Mail Dog, you know, came to the joint, you know, that was his brother, he he, he rolled with the, with the Gershons, even though he was from California. You know, he rolled with us. You know what I mean? He was like one of us. You know, he, he we didn't care, you know, that he was from the East Coast. You know, he was that was Fish Brother. So he was like our brother, you know, and, and, and he was a real one, you know what I mean? So 
And shout out to Mel Dog, man. You know what I'm saying? That was that was a good brother right there. But the war got real bad, man. You know. And so what ended up happening is after the second war, you know, that's when Boodham showed out and they got that's when the Vegas Crips and the uh, Cali Crips came together. You know what I mean? And 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 they got they got they got toe up, you know what I mean? And I'm not trying to be funny, but you know, after, after the Gersons and the Bloods, you know, came together, and that's when they first came together, and they cleared the yard off. This is in 1994. The, the, the ride happened March 23rd of 1994. A person like me, because I got stabbed, and where I got stabbed and the stuff I went through, I'll never forget that day. You know what I mean? So it was March 23rd, 1994. All right? That's when the Gershons and the Bloods first came together on Northern Nevada Correctional Center Yard to fight the Cali Boys. That's where the alliance first started. Okay? But it got so bad that the Gershons and the Bloods, they basically ran off every, you know, all the Cali Boys. I'm not trying to be like, you know, <clears throat> I'm from Vegas and we, you were, I'm telling you the truth. It was too many Gershons and too many Bloods. The only Crips that was really on the yard was the rolling 60s. And, you know, they was pushing criminalistics. They was they was six O's. And, you know, um, they was on the yard like Meech, Lenard, Chucko, Modi, Romeo, um, OG, Romo, Roro, Sad, Mac. Uh, <clears throat> it was a few uh, 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 60s on the yard. You know what I'm saying? They had their own thing going. They didn't get into nothing if you didn't mess with the six O's. You ain't had no problem, but the 60s, they was on the yard. But everything else was getting hollered at. They son Lil Boo from Donna Street up there. Watch this. And, you know, I don't really care how he feel about this because I'm going to tell you something about an individual. When you got to get around your homeboys to be tough, they tell a lot about your character. And when and, and when you was when you came to NNCC, you know, at first... We, you was we, the Gershers was gonna get you. I'm not. I'm just keep it real with you. But gangster, gangster Rod spoke up because you were so little. He was like, leave that boy alone. But remember how you used to follow me around to the point to man me say, man, them boys don't. They don't want you. Quit following me. Remember me had to tell you that because you were so scared. But I'm bringing this up because. When they started shipping us off that yard and we went to Indian Springs, you was on the bus with us. When we got down there and you and you got around your homeboys and they were so deep, you started being a super crip. It was all north side, F, you know what I'm saying? North side this, north side that, you know what I mean? But up in NNCC, you was following me around. And last I checked, the Nanas in the 60s at that time was beefing. You know, but when I get to when I get to Indian Springs, we still warm with the Cali boys, right? But when I get to Indian Springs, we get into it with the Northtown boy, with the Northtown crew behind Poom and Baby Huey. I get stabbed again. So I was just getting stabbed, you know, and the Cali boys that was in that war that happened up north that we was running to, we were running to some of them down south like Lucifer, Yogi, and all them. We were running to them, and we were holler at them. Yogi got knocked out. Woo, Lucifer, the one that we was fighting when I got stabbed, he got stunk. You know, we was, we was hollering at people, right? But peep this. The whole time this going on, notice how I'm getting stabbed up, right? The war getting bad. It's getting bad. You know, I get stabbed again, uh, you know, by the North, you know? So what people don't understand, I thought I got stabbed again, I lost it. 
my mentality, it was gone. I was still healing from the first one. Then I get stabbed in the head. Then I get whole time. So the whole time I'm in the hole, I'm hollering at everything. I didn't care. And I'm telling you this story not to aggrandize. I'm showing you why this is the worst war I ever been in. Because all it was was stabbings. See, when 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 going in circle was that they strongest in Ely. Some Vegas cats, some Gershons that got sent up there. They was faking seizures. Yeah. See, that's why they be, man, don't be putting me on your platform, shit. I just want to live. Leave me alone. See, that's why they be saying that because they don't they don't want you to know about stuff like this. How they was faking seizures, falling out to get off Ely Yard, getting sucked to the RMF at NNCC. See, you was getting sent back to the medical unit at NNCC, faking seizures and stuff because the Cali boys had a green light on you. They, they were strong up in Ely. It wasn't a lot of Gershons up there like that at, at that time. Because they sent all the Cali boys up there. And all the Cali boys that they sent up there were the ones that was in that riot. Or the ones that was in the NSP riot with seaweed. See, they even put a green light on Gangster Rob. And he didn't even know it. K Loco, my cousin Kevin Robinson from Reno. He the one risked his life telling Gangsta Rob. He slid Gangsta Rob and told Gangsta Rob, don't go to the shower, don't come out. They go get you. They was gonna stab Gangsta. See? And then it was some Gersons, just a cold thing. Mm-hmm. Peep this move right here. It was some Gershons that turned Golden Circle. Yeah. Turn Golden Circle. Yeah. And it was real strong up there. Check this out. Uh, <clears throat> the boy Tom from Oakland, he tried to stay neutral. He got caught up in a roll up in the first ride when I got stabbed, right? He got up there, Golden Circle gave him an ultimatum. Either he had to put in some work or they was going to get him. Ain't no use staying neutral, right? Fat, light, skinny cat. That's when Boo and Chair Man got stabbed up. I think they was playing they was playing chess and they stabbed Boo in the face. Boo and Chan Man got stabbed up. The Cali boy stabbed him up. See, that war was bloody. But peep, I get stabbed again. So now I'm tripping. I'm stabbing everything I come across. You know, I was putting in a lot of work behind them walls. Everybody know me. I didn't do dudes. I didn't do dudes off that till. It was on like that. I was Ken Griffey Jr. with that mop ringer. I was hitting home runs with that mop ringer. Bing, bing. I was hitting home runs with it. But I'm gonna tell you something. My behavior got so bad. The police smashed me. They smashed me. The police. I told that story, but they smashed me to make a long story set sh short, to make a long story short because I'm trying to tell you how this was the worst war. The police smashed me because I was, I was terrible. I was horrible. Right? So I wouldn't eat because I was locked in a room. They had me in a hole and I had a banger. I wouldn't eat because I knew they had 72 hours to let me out the hole, to let me out the room. And I was going to get at one of them, Muhammad in particular, CEO Muhammad. It was Muhammad and Gribbs. Y'all remember them two? Used to be with Sergeant Height. Two brothers used to be with this man. And he was a cold hater. But they used to do dudes bad. They paralyzed the essay. 
uh, uh, three days before he was supposed to go home. They broke his they broke his back. They was doing dudes bad. Celine, they tried to rip Celine out of his head. Everybody remember this. Home team, remember home team, remember how they did home team? Yeah, they were they were some cold dudes. But I was gonna blast one of them. I was gonna get Muhammad in particular. So they sitting the psych doctors at me. I ended up four pointing at Gene Nevada with a pamper on. On how dog. See? They start going after my men. They start going after this right here on me. See, that's why I'm trying to tell you this is the worst war I've been in. <clears throat> because I, 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 I went from being on the battlefield to being back there with the psych patient. They drugged me up, man. That's what they did to me. I'm telling you the truth. Mm-hmm. Had me gone, had me addicted to it. And then they hid me. Because not only did they put me back there with them, they put me in the hole. So they summoned me to Carson City, put me in the RMF, which is the regional medical facility, and they put me in the hole back there. Did nobody know where I was? And they put me on that liquid Thor's, that, that, liquid, that liquid Thor's in me. They put me on that. To the point where I was addicted to it. I was addicted to it. And they had me back there so long, man. They did me bad. They tried to really break me. They did. And when they put me back in general population, they formed a general population which put me in the hole. Right? They put me, they put me in a hole after having me in a medical hole. They put me in another hole in general population. I'm in the hole now. And then one night, they forgot to give me my meds. This how this how messed up I was I was. They forgot to give me my meds one night, right? They supposed to come get my meds around seven something. You know what I'm saying? It's nine. They ain't bought my stuff, so I'm bamming on the door. Boom, 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 boom. 10.30 come. I'm kicking the door. Bloom, bloom. I'm like, ain't nobody going to sleep back here tonight. Y'all better bring this. I'm gone, man. I need my, my, I need my, my stuff. I'm telling you the truth. You know, this is the part of the game people don't want to talk about. They like to talk about the glorification of it and how they hurt people and how they put in the work and how they put in work. But this is a part of the game that go on too that they don't talk about. And a bunch of people went through that. I went through it. I was bamming on the door for some for some psych meds. Bam, bam, I was bamming on the door. And when 12 o'clock came, I would start punching the door so hard that the guard, he just couldn't take it no more. He came and he, he said, what is your problem? I said, where my dog, where my man's at? So we sitting there screaming. He not understanding what I'm saying. And I'm trying to tell him, y'all better get me my, you know what I mean? He telling me I better stop bamming on the door. So check this out. Look what I do. I get so mad, so angry that he not doing what he's supposed to do, which is go get this nurse and tell her to bring my, I punch that window. And y'all know them windows. See, I was in the building they called the Pizza Hut at NNCC because it looked like how Pizza Hut buildings used to look, right? But back then it was like, you know, the hole. You know what I'm saying? Look, and they got the plexiglass windows that you look out. Look, I punched that window so hard I shattered it. I shattered that window. Look at my fist. I shattered that window. With one punch, I shattered it. My feelings was involved with that. I shattered it. I hit it with everything I stood for. I, boom, I hit that window. Look, he ran. When, Because he see when I hit that window, oh, he got, it's crucial. He ain't playing. He need the meds. That nurse came. I don't know what they told her, but she was, she was breathing so hard when she came. And she was going, she was going, Mr. Stewart, Mr. Stewart, just calm down. Ain't no calming down. 
Ain't no coming down where that thing at. I need my issue. I didn't woke, I didn't, I didn't woke everybody up, them white boys. Dude, what the? F I got that. They mad. I don't want to hear none of that. I ain't care. But that's how gone I was. See? Excuse my science. That's how gone I was. That's why I say this was the worst war I ever been in. Because not only did it damage me physically, it damaged me mentally. It was hard for me to come back from that. Did you see? I was I bust the window over some psych meds. I bet you they wasn't late getting them to me no more. I bet you they wasn't late. That listen, you don't, don't listen. You can play. Listen, back then you can play with my food. You can play with anything, but don't play with my meds. I was gone on. See, I needed them. I craved them. See, it's not easy for, for me to be sitting here telling you this because God had to bring me back. Could nobody bring me back from what I've been through? I was gone in the head. I didn't never think I was getting out. You know, I was at war, not just with the Cali boys, not just with the North. I was at war with myself because I was fighting a demon I couldn't beat. I was addicted to meds, man. I was addicted to meds, man. And I still was putting in work whenever I could. I couldn't be on no yards. I was unstable. Ment I was mentally, un I was gone mentally, man. I didn't ask anybody. The first thing they used to say about me was that I was crazy. She crazy ASS. I was gone. I'm telling you that so know what you signing up for when you play this game. Know what you signing up for when you go to prison. Know what you signing up when you want to live this life. I was going off psych meds, man. As hard as I was, as much work as I, and I still was putting in work. But when they said pill call, it was like them ringing the It was like them ringing the little the little thing going gravy train. When they say pill call, boy, you should have seen how I was there, looking so determined with that little cup. Look, and I'm cutting the line. I was I was a cold bully when he came up here. I'm cutting a line. I don't care what nobody say. I was I was gone, man. I was gone. God had to intervene and say enough is enough. So if you want to think, God, if you if you ever question is God real or not? Listen to what I just told you and everybody. There's a lot of people that seen me back there. And I and I love people like Pookie Red because Pookie Red did not like that. He did he let it be known he didn't like he didn't like that. That's love. He told me he didn't care. He didn't want me. He didn't want me back there. And he was one of the reasons I got from back there. He wasn't going for it. And he used to tell me, he used to shake his head. No, I don't like that, man. No, I don't like that. He didn't want to hear it. He didn't want to hear nothing I had to say because he knew me as a baby. And he did not, he knew what nothing, nothing, wasn't nothing wrong with me. He didn't like the fact that I was back there on them meds. He did not like that, man. And that's real love because he was the only one that every time he seen me, he said, I don't like that, man. When I fell out at Ely, in front of G-Boy and Weed. Full of them, I fell out. Glasses crooked and everything. Fell out. Bloom. That's the first thing we say, man, I don't like that, man. On them meds, man. See, that's a demon I was fighting. It's a bunch of brothers that be fighting them type of demons. They go to prison, they get on that stuff, and then they get out like it wasn't ever nothing wrong with them. 
and then we wonder why they that they, they, one day they here and then the next day they not. Let's talk about this this reality. Let's talk about this real stuff, man. This real. This is what I really went through. That's why I say that that the Cali boys was the worst war. See, I didn't been in a lot of wars with a bunch of different ethnicities. I didn't been in with a lot of wars with a bunch of dudes from different states, but none of them caused me to be mentally damaged the way the war with the Cali boys did because when I got stabbed in the eye, that transformed me mentally hearing things like, you know, handicap, or you'll probably never till we can't fix this. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Stewart. And other stuff I'm not going to even mention when it comes to detachment and all that other stuff. You know, I had to live with them realities of being told that. So that only made me matter. So, you know, the people I felt that was responsible, which was anything that was from California, I felt was responsible for this. For So they had to suffer the wrath. So some dudes that didn't have nothing to do with nothing was just simply in prison called hell that they didn't deserve but I didn't care because I lost and I wanted to make some of them lose and some of them dudes they didn't lost they you know eyes and, and limbs and stuff too because I, I, I wanted them to suffer like I suffered but I was gone mentally <laughs> see mentally I was gone and God had to bring me back and it was a slow process <laughs> 